Hi everyone, welcome back to Pilates for Beginners workout series. I hope you're feeling great after last week's session and in today's session we are simply going to be progressing our exercises from last week as we get stronger and as we build but we're still going to have a variety of different workouts and exercises just to keep things exciting. So today we are going to be starting in a seated position in the center of our mats. Let's grab our shins, deep breath in, exhale, we're rounding that spine, tucking in that chin. Inhale, exhale, we're opening that chest, looking up towards the sky and tucking in that chin as we round that back and coming all the way back up. And one more, we're taking a deep inhale Exhale, we're rounding that back. And bringing hands up towards the sky and bringing them behind you. I want us to interlace or bring our legs into a crisscross position. Inhale, exhale, we're lifting those hips up towards the sky. And then coming all the way down, lifting those arms up and bringing them down onto the mat in front of you. Deep breath in. Exhale, we round back. Our fingers are facing the body as we lift those hips up and coming back down. We're going to do one more after this one. You're feeling that stretch coming all the way down that back and into those hips. And lifting. And last one. Reaching forward, trying to keep those glutes on the mat. Coming all the way back, lifting those hips. And coming into a seated position, I'm going to lift those arms up and drawing our left arm up towards the sky, we're going to reach over towards that left hand side. Drawing that left sits bone or glute into the ground as you pull that shoulder and arm away and making sure that you are keeping your body stacked you're not leaning forward you're just opening up coming back to center changing over towards the other side and slowly coming all the way back up and coming forward for one last stretch in this position before we progress into our sequence. We're going to lift our arms up, bringing our feet back into a supine or preparing for a supine position. We're going to slowly, almost you can either grab your hands, just get yourself into a supine position, coming all the way down onto the mat. We're just going to start with our pelvic curls again, or our just light pelvic curls. Just loosening up that pelvis again, getting that understanding of that differentiation and dissociation between your pelvis and your spine. So let's inhale. Exhale, we arch that back up. Deep breath in. Using that tummy and core to pull and create a flat back decreasing the space between your back and the mat. Deep breath in, exhale, we round. Inhale, exhale, push down. Bringing hands up towards the sky, we lift that back. Inhale, exhale, we push down. And last one, we arch that back and just coming back to neutral making sure your feet are in the correct position a foot and a half away from your glutes fist distance away from one another we're going to arch that back and as we bring our back into flat back we peel that tailbone off the mat as we lift those hips and peel one vertebra at a time up towards the sky bringing arms overhead core tight inhale Exhale, we reverse that movement, controlling, keeping that pubic bone tucked in as we come back down. Inhale, exhale, we flatten that back, we peel that pelvis, 
and we lift bringing arms up towards the sky and then overhead back to the sky as we slowly roll our pelvis back down and hands to sides we're doing three more of these I want you to feel that activation as you squeeze those glutes coming back to center with those arms and bringing your hands down deep breath in exhale we lift up squeezing those glutes drawing those heels towards the ground and lowering that pelvis as we bring hands towards your sides inhale exhale we lift up bringing hands up towards the sky then overhead then back up again in this position a reminder to squeeze those glutes lift those hips up tilting that pelvis bringing hands towards the sky palms facing each other I want you to draw those heels imagine they're not going to be moving but imagine them coming towards that back squeezing those knees towards each other and holding while we're holding we're going to bring arms out towards the side and then back up that's one we're going to do eight of these really focusing on maintaining that posture building the foundation and that's three core tight exhale out inhale center and five inhale center six Keep a core tight to keep those glutes working. Last one. And coming back up. Keep holding for five, four, three, two, one. Coming all the way back down. Bringing arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Hugging those knees towards that chest. Lifting that head, neck and chest. Deep breath in exhale we bring our legs up into table tabletop bringing head neck and chest off the mat inhale exhale bringing arms overhead and then coming back bring your hands around towards those knees inhale exhale we lower bringing arms overhead and bringing those hands around towards those knees I want you to feel that activation with those arms moving and those knees and tabletop, but you're using your core to do the work. Last one. Coming all the way back up and hugging those knees towards our chest. Bringing those feet back down, we're going to progress our pelvic curl movement. Deep breath in, hands on your sides. Exhale, we peel that pelvis off the mat. One vertebra at a time. Lifting up, bringing hands up towards the sky, palms facing each other. Inhale, exhale, we lift right knee into tabletop. We're just gonna hold here, working really hard to activate that tummy, tucking in that pubic bone towards your chin. Let's go for another five, four, three, two one dropping right leg deep breath in exhale left leg up holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and dropping that left leg and lifting and holding squeezing those glutes feeling that activation for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one slowly coming all the way down we interlace our, our hands behind our heads and we're just going to rock our knees from left to right before we progress into the next movement very well done everyone keep up the good work coming back to center we are going to take a deep inhale, sucking in that pelvic floor, activating that tummy. Exhale, we lift head, neck and chest off the mat. Inhale to pause, coming all the way down. 
in this position if you do struggle with low back pain I really want you to focus on keeping that flat back otherwise if you are feeling confident then you maintain that neutral spine which is that happy medium between that completely arched back and flat back if that makes sense so I can show you that's arched back that's flat back neutral spine is in between but if you're feeling like your back is getting sore then you always just rather do flat back to protect it and making sure that as you pull up you are sucking in that pelvic floor and last one you're going to lift and hold inhale exhale we rotate left elbow towards right knee inhale to center and other side so even though again so this is a very small basic movement. You can feel that core really work. Keep going. Inhale, center, exhale, rotate. Let's do one more on each side. And two. And slowly coming all the way back down. Deep breath in. Exhale, right leg lifts into tabletop, then left leg, bringing hands overhead, inhale, exhale, we're lifting hands towards our sides as you lift head, neck and chest off the mat, inhale, exhale, coming back down, lifting up, using that core, sucking in that belly as you lift, and three, we're going to do eight of these, making sure your knees are above your hips, your ankles are in line with your knees, so there's a beautiful 90 degree angle between your hips in your hips joint and a beautiful 90 degree angle in your knee joint. Three more, keep going, remembering to breathe as you're going. Exhale up, inhale, back to starting point. And two. And one, you're just going to do little pulsa pulsations towards the ground for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hugging those knees towards your chest. Looking left, looking right, you're just going to point, bend and extend those or flexing those ankles. And coming back into supine position, we are going to lift right leg into tabletop, then left leg, and then we're going to draw those hands onto those knees, drawing those knees towards you as you push away, getting that isometric contraction. I want you to lift your head, neck, and chest off the mat if you want a deeper strength or deeper activation into that core. And we're going to hold for another five four three two one bringing hands around and overhead and hugging those knees to chest coming back into tabletop and pushing and holding keep going i want you to feel that activation in that tummy let's go for another five four three two one three round hands and hug knee to chest the last one, coming back into tabletop, drawing those hands onto those knees, sucking belly to spine, pelvis bringing it, sucking in that pelvic floor. And let's go for another five, four, three, two, one, hugging those knees, looking left, looking right, bringing those legs back into tabletop position, bringing hands into T point. We need to draw knees towards the right, using that core to come back to center and then to the left. Keeping those knees on top of each other or aligned with one another. We inhale and exhale towards the right. Inhale to pause, exhale coming back into center. Inhale to pause, exhale to the left. Now we're gonna progress this one. 
So when we come here to center, we do a single leg toe tap. One, two, coming towards the right. Back to center, right leg toe tap, left leg toe tap, to the left. Coming back to center, left leg toe tap, right leg toe tap, coming to the right. One more on each side. Right leg toe tap, left leg toe tap, to the left, and left leg toe tap, right leg toe tap. Coming back to center, we're going to extend those legs and just grabbing those knees and just stretching out. I want you to drop that left leg down and bringing that right leg up towards the sky. We're going to go into hamstring pull. So we're just going to pull, pull and change over. Pull, pull. That's one. Feeling a nice stretch in those hamstrings. And last one. Coming back to center and slowly dropping those feet onto the mat, bringing them slightly larger than shoulder width apart. Just rocking from left to right. Very nice. We're going to bring our legs back up. So left leg is extended, right leg is lifting up towards the sky. And again, this depends on your level of flexibility. If you do struggle with hamstring flexibility, you can keep your knee bent. So we are pretending like there's a pen on the bottom of our foot, or if you would rather keep it um, with your knee bent, you can have your pen on the bottom of your top of your knee. Gonna bring our hands into T-point, inhale, exhale. We're just drawing little circles on the ceiling above us. So while this is moving, you're moving at the level of the hip joint, but you're making at this lower abs or lower abdominals, your transverse abdominals, which is your deep core muscle, is stabilizing that pelvis as you circle. And let's go for another five, four, three, two, and changing direction. You should really feel a nice deep activation in here. If you aren't feeling one, then you need to just reset, draw the belly in, and maybe even bend this knee to help you focus more on that abdominal muscle. Now we're going to bend that knee and bring it across the midline. Just stretch out that. Look. Extending that right leg down, lifting left leg into tabletop, and either keeping it bent or extending it. Hands into T-point, inhale, exhale, creating those circles. Inhale and exhale. Just envisioning what's going on down there in your TA, your transverse abdominus, your core muscle, and in that hip joint. Keep going, coming back to center and changing direction. Go for another 10, down, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly dropping that leg down, extending both our legs onto the mat, bringing arms overhead, inhale, exhale, we bring hands to sides, inhale, exhale, we slowly come all the way into seated. And again, if you do struggle with back pain, keep that bend in your knee when we do this workout. And we're slowly going to bring our hands in front of us. Inhale, exhale, we reach forward, keeping those ankles flexed. Inhale to pause. Exhale, we stack that vertebra. Deep breath in. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale to pause. Exhale, come back up. Deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward. Last one, pushing those knees into the ground, stacking that vertebra, deep breath in. 
exhale we reach forward flexing those toes pushing those knees into the ground if your knees are bent you can just reach as far forward as you can I'm just gonna hold for another five four three two one coming all the way back up bringing your hands behind you bringing your feet onto the mat deep breath in exhale we're just gonna lift our hips off the mat as you lift your chest up releasing that neck inhale to lower and hover exhale we lift up squeezing those glutes I'm going to do three more of these and that's three two and one coming all the way onto your sides resting on that right shoulder elbow aligning those hip shoulders and knees slight forward rotation of that hip we're going to lift up and down for eight seven make sure you're not slumping in that lower rib five four three two one coming up into lifting that ankle slightly higher than the level of your hip and we're going to do eight circles forward in this position you want to make sure that you're keeping that core tight stabilizing with that shoulder as your limb moves forward and three two one and other direction eight seven six five four three two one and bending those knees and slowly coming up into slide plank core tight squeezing those glutes and you're gonna hold for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one coming down to rest for five four three two one and back up and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one coming all the way onto your tummy and we're just going to rest our head on our hands deep breath in exhale we lift both knees and legs off the mat keeping core tight please can you get a, a, a towel and just put it under your pelvis if you're feeling like you're getting this lower back pain as you lift up the real important thing here is that your core is tight to protect that back your glutes are activated we come back down now we lift head neck and chest off the mat inhale to pause exhale down arms up legs up sorry legs down head neck and chest up legs up legs down head neck and chest up and last one legs up we're holding drawing the shoulders down the back and dropping legs lifting head neck and chest now we're extending those arms drawing the shoulders down the back lifting into superman holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one coming all the way down and lifting back up for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one coming down last one and lifting and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one releasing coming all the way into rest position walking your hands towards the left hand side to open that right side body and then walking your hands to the right hand side as you open your left side body coming back into all fours 
and coming into upward facing dog coming back into rest position and then turning over onto that left hand side remember to have your hips knees and shoulders all aligned resting on that elbow lifting that those ribs sucking in that tummy deep breath in exhale toe tap that's one two three four five six making sure you're activating into that glute and coming back to center lifting that hip up that knee that ankle up rotating that hip slightly forward and little circles forward for eight seven six five four three two one back to center changing directions eight seven six five four three two one back to center bending that knee and lifting those hips up and holding bringing hands to sky squeezing those glutes for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one resting and holding for five four three two one coming back up squeezing those glutes activating that core lifting through that shoulder let's go for another five four three two one coming back down for our last 10 seconds and lifting in three two one and up and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one slowly coming down and coming all the way onto our backs again into that supine position and lifting right knee towards that chest as you extend that left leg just holding here and interlacing your hands behind the back of your left knee as you rest your right ankle on that left knee and just holding that figure four stretch if this exercise is too difficult for you you can just um, rest both knees on each other and try and grab your opposite ankles as long as you're getting a nice stretch into your glutes and just changing over bringing that left ankle onto that behind the back of that right knee drawing that right knee towards your chest and again if you did it the other way grabbing your ankles like that and then releasing extending that left leg down hugging that right knee towards that chest and then just switching over hugging that left knee towards our chest extending those legs bringing arms overhead stretching as far as you can imagine like your limbs are being pulled in opposite direction and slowly turning over onto your side and lifting yourself up into seated Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in that next video. Have a lovely day.